Oh, that is so right, Ewan. Because you know what? No trip to Mzanzi is complete without tasting some local is lacquer favorites. Now, Mzanzi is a fusion of indigenous cooking and many cultural influences. So requesting some of the Mzanzi foods that you want to try can be a bit of a challenge. So we are going to take you through some of the classic South African names and let's see if our guests today can cor guess correctly. We have Stan Mars from Good Hope FM here, <laughs> as well as our very own Katlejo Maboy. And we are about to, I need the street name food. So what's gonna happen is, I'm I'm gonna give you a description. You can see this is meat, but we don't call this meat. So listen to this. So if you were to, you know, invite some tourists over to your house uh -huh. on a weekend, you would typically be serving up this classic meal that is referred to as barbecue in parts of the world. But what do we call it? What is the street name for this? Stan. Stan, go for it. Wait, me. what's going on? <laughs> what happened to Stan? Stan? You didn't give the us the rules of the game where we supposed to be. It's, okay. it's not a competition. Stan. I just want to see. Yes. And what else would we call this? Shishinyama is correct. Like a diet, cheap diet, Stan's diet, best diet, Budavo's diet, Northern Suburbs diet. You no? just add diet to yeah, everything. Yeah, 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 that yeah, doesn't yeah, yeah, count. Bra, yeah, yeah. bra, you know. Bra is good Chesanyama, Shishinyama. If you, you know, if you're entertaining people from from America, Shishinyama. You know, chesanyama if you want to be. Well, I'm proud yeah. of both of you. Okay, you got a point. Do you want to make this competitive? This is very competitive. Yeah. Stan is just made it happen right now. The last time I was here, I won the reigning call. champion. Okay, so the reigning champion. Right, Stan. Okay, so That's all? Pressure. Okay. There's Don't pressure. Hey! Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Love a No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, love a pool support. <laughs> I'm again. joking, I'm joking, Stan. Okay. All right. Gents, next one. We're moving over to this plate. Now, this you classic South African street food can usually be found on the grills of street vendors, often at taxi ranks, and it's also known as Motwana. Mmm, okay, Motwana. Motwana. AKA Minato. AKA Walkie Talkie. AKA. Hey. Ama? Hey? Kluk Kluk. I'm a Kluk Kluk. Hey, hey, that's no. the South African the, the football team from 1996. That was, I'm a Kluk Kluk. No, no. Not that. Walkie talkies. Walkie talkies. What would you say? Talk and walk. So I'm from the north. We change things. Talk and walk. <laughs> Talky walkie. Talk and walk. Talky walkie. Yeah. Walkie talkie. That is correct. And what did you say the other name was? Maudwana. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, well, I grew up, we called it Minoto. 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 Uh, so we, Minoto. I'm, I'm busy winning, obviously. I, I think the boats are tied. Talkie no, walkies, no, no, no. Mm. Okay. One champion here, the Let's best. Let's move over to Ready? our third dish in front of you. Now, what is the South African name of a traditional stew made with tripe and intestines? Oh, malamukhod. Yeah. What do you... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you say, yeah? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Malamukhodu. And, and another name? Is there another one that is... Um, Stand, don't eat. That's the northern suburb's name. Stand, don't eat. Stand, don't eat. Yeah. So, so, so wait, the name wait, wait. My, my parents call it... Can I give it to you? Wait, are you talking about this? Yes. No, but, okay, well, well this would be like um, Usho, Stump and Stuart. It would be used in this... Sorry? Stump and Stuart. Oh, Stump and Stuart, Stuart. yeah. Yes, you can that call would it be there. used okay. in the stew. I'm from the north, it's different. Yes, so you... Stump and Stuart. Um, Usho, Stump and Stuart. Stambalinawa. And work pens and poikis. No, that's not pens and poikis. Well, this would be used in it. Ah, but now you are, you are, for, you are for the confusion of the people. Yes, who doesn't so. make food, yeah. Yeah, ne, 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 no, no. Now the contestants are teaming up against me. Okay, let's move over to our next one. This classic South African street food is commonly sold by street vendors, uh, street food vendors, and have various fillings like curry, mm. bologna, mm. and cheese, mm. jam. Mm. What would you call it? Oh, rolls. <laughs> oh, rolls. Oh, rolls. Oh, rolls. Yes. So like the rolls they are should old. Look. You they put should it in be the bigger. No, yeah, yeah. these are old rolls. Old rolls. This is like this is like be this big. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, it is oh. like uh, machuchu, yes. makwenya, yes. fet kuku. Yes, fet kuku. You know, yeah. Fet kuku versus be... mahuta. It's a band. <laughs> South African band. Good band. Good band. Good band. Okay. Okay. Then you have the music while they're eating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's he's tourist tourism South African ambassador here. This is Tottenham. You guys are all. You still. You're still tied. Okay, so the next one, we don't have the food in front of us, but we've got some pictures. So, oh, wow. listen to the clue. What is the name of the hearty dish that is made with dried pounded corn kernels and is cooked with sugar beans? It's often eaten in a soup or with a stew. You get this. Yo, you get this. Yeah, yeah. pounded okay. kernels. First. When you go there, I go maize, I go pop. There's a puppiness to it. It's pupperish. Mm. It's pupperish. Pop, yeah, pop, pop, and then with what? what else is in it? 
Um, we've got some pounded corn, corn kernels made with the, the dried pounded, and yeah. it's also cooked with sugar beans, and it's also a often eaten Gatsby. in soup or with a yeah. stew. I actually think it's this, 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 this. You mentioned it earlier. I yeah, I'm um, sure. Right? Samp and beans. Samp and beans, beans yeah. Yeah, I see yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Samp and beans. So I, th I think we qualify. You, you both qualify. This is more of an education. It's in tourism, you see. <laughs> Invest one billion in the Stan Mars and Katakamavue uh, ambassadorship <laughs> program. Other team. We'll take you to the world. <laughs> tell them all about our food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring them to our shows. Yeah, let's eat now. Anyway, thank you. Okay. Well, <laughs> gents, before you eat, it goes without saying that, you know, you can truly enjoy some of the best Mzanzi classics. You also have to be in South Africa to experience the chias that goes with it. And if you are planning to cook something South African for lunch or dinner, grab some Clover Classic to make it extra authentic. Now you can tuck in. All right, I'm going to have a oh, all you say. No, it's a fake cook. It's supposed cook. to be a fake No, no, I'm going to die. So I'll just have this. So <laughs> we've had classic fashion from Timby, classic cars, thanks, Chad. And we've seen classic hairstyles. And you, Michael? Classic. Classic range from Clover. Timeless taste. Made with love by Clover.